My name is Shay Haller. I am a full-time second year student at BTC for the welding program. What I love most about the program, I would have to say, is all the tools that I get to use. That sounds pretty vague, but anytime I get to use a new tool, it's very exciting to me. The machineries, the, the torches, it, there's something to be said about using all of that equipment. It's very empowering. I can tell you I was terrified when I started. I knew nothing about welding. It took me a long time to not jump in the shop, but I work really well hands-on. And so being able to learn how to make things or repair things, welding I feel like is an endless career of opportunities. And so the fact that I can just be more hands-on, I, I love that. My name is Sarah Patterson and I'm the Director of Workforce Development for the AGC Education Foundation. Long story short, we want construction to be a first choice career and we want to educate more folks on why it is and what a great pathway can offer them. I myself started as a structural welder and was able to progress through the industry. I mean, construction literally helped me change my entire life trajectory. I was not a good student. I was disruptive, mouthy. I realized once I got in high school and was able to take a number of shop classes, I bloomed in that, in that space. Those teachers meant a lot to me. They were incredibly encouraging. There was never a, what is, you know, your girl can't do this. They were all about get in there and do it. When I would go sit in my sit down classes, I felt dumb and out of place. But the minute I got back in my shop class, I was in my element and felt good, confident, strong. So it really helped kind of carry that forward. It takes a lot of, of skill, ability, and knowledge to work in the construction industry. It's not just a bunch of sweaty dudes with jackhammers. There is a lot of really challenging, unique aspects of, of working as a team and, and building these big, lasting monuments. My name is Alyssa Willis. I am a process operator at the Shell Puget Sound Refinery. My favorite part of my job is by far just the sheer amount of stuff that you can be trained to do inside the refinery. In the short three and a half years that I've been working at the refinery, I have learned how to be an operator, how to be a console operator. I am actually a trained firefighter and a emergency medical responder. There's just so much stuff that you can learn about, so much stuff that you can get involved with, things that you would never be able to do in any other job. I love being an active learner. I like being a lifelong learner. And the refinery really gives you the opportunity to be a lifelong learner. I was a Running Start student, so I started, actually my sophomore year of high school, I started college. I took my first college class right at the end of my sophomore year to prepare me to go into the process technology program at Bellingham Technical College. That is absolutely not the norm, and it was really difficult in order to plan it that way, but I was able to figure out my classes, talk to my college counselors, talk to my high school counselors, and figure out how am I gonna do this in this time frame that I wanna do it in. That was a huge blessing, and I'm super thankful that it happened that way because this job has changed my life. It's amazing. Your standard four-year degree, it is very expensive, and it's really not for everybody. I am super ahead because of the way that I approached my career and how I got into the refinery when I did. So just because you can do a four-year degree, just because people in your life are pushing you to do a four-year degree because they're saying that you'll waste your potential if you don't, you're not. You can do STEM, you can do two-year, you can do four-year, but whatever you do, use your mind and keep learning. Four-year universities don't always have to be the route. Trade schools are amazing. Working with your hands, people learn so differently. And you don't always have to go right after high school. That's okay. I went to college when I was 31, and it's, it's just never too late to learn anything. You know, just follow your path, and I think you'll figure it out, and you'll be way more successful when you know when the right time is to go whatever trade you may endeavor on. It's okay to be scared. You're gonna be scared regardless. Those are all natural and like really good feelings. The scared turns into empowerment and endless goals. I mean, I've worked all over the world. I've worked in Antarctica, I've worked in South America, I've worked in Europe, and that's as a welder. This is a welder and a welding inspector. So I've traveled the world and somebody else has paid for it. So it's not only given me economic freedom, it's allowed me to, to recreate myself and continue to change and grow and explore new avenues, but also how many people go to Antarctica, you know? And someone paid for me to go there, paid for me to work the whole time. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's never ending, the amount of, of opportunity that's available. 
So long as you're willing to work hard and push yourself and, and be creative, look at what's, what else is out there and what else could I do and how do I get there? Construction is not typically talked about as you know, the right career path for a young woman, but all career paths are right for young women. It's just a matter of what do you want to do? What are you good at and what makes you feel good at the end of the day? You know, there may only be one other young lady in that group or in that trade with you. Especially for young women, the advice that I would give them would be don't be afraid to ask questions. And more than not, I feel like with society, we tend to compete against women, against ourselves, and, and she may be feeling the exact same way. So I just encourage you to compete with her and not against her. And, com and compete with yourself, you know, hold yourself accountable and always try. You're not a failure as long as you keep trying. You're a failure once you stop trying.